truth that I had to come to grips with, that I wasn't in charge of my destiny. The truth was that I wasn't giving all that I had. The truth was that there are some things that I wanted to do, but I didn't have the courage to act on those things. And the truth was that Bert Childs was a blessing to me. He made life so miserable for me, I had to start looking at my life differently. I started going to work earlier. I started being the last one to leave there. I started working harder than anybody else. The other guys could not, why would you work so hard, Les? I said, I'm not working for them. I have been cheating, Bert, I thought. I've been cheating myself and my family, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, do it with everything that you have. Develop the habit of giving more than what you're paid for. Develop the habit of, of setting standards that others will be measured by. Someone said, do not go where the path may lead, but go where there's no path and leave a trail. It is easy to be negative today. It is easy to have low morale today. I was at a corporation and they're, they're going through downsizing and going to lay off some 1,500 people over the next few weeks. It's very depressing there. And those people that stay there nine times out of 10, they're just going to do just enough to keep from getting fired. Anybody can do that. But if you can begin to harness yourself and say that where I am, I'm going to do the best I can with what I got because that is an expression of who I am. If you get into the habit of just being mediocre, it will become a part of your consciousness. If you get in the habit of giving less than what you have it within you to give, it will begin to reflect itself in your personality. It will begin to damage you psychologically. And you don't want to be a part of that kind of self-destructive behavior. And so you want to set some high standards for yourself. The next thing, part of what feeds that hunger, you've got to develop a sense of urgency. Aurelia said, stop living your life like you have a thousand years to live. In life, you're either here today and you're gone today. If there's something that you want to do and you can't do it all at one time, do just a little bit of it. I like what Robert Shuler says. He said, by the yard it's hard, but inch by inch anything is a cinch. Just a little bit of it. A friend of mine, Bobby Curry, used to be a roommate. Bobby wanted to go into the area of public relations. He loved working with the public. A young lady he wanted to marry named Clarice. Bobby was a great procrastinator. Pretty soon the job where Bobby worked, they transferred him to another location. He went out to celebrate with the people on that new job site. And Bobby suffered a massive heart attack and died. Bobby didn't drink and didn't smoke, was under 40, and he died. Ask your question, how much time do you have left? How much time do you have left? When you start thinking about that, we don't know. We don't know, Bobby took all the greatness and all of the talent and all of his abilities to his grave with him. One of the things he could have put in parenthesis under his name, he didn't use all his stuff. And most, of, most of us do that. Most of us don't use the stuff that we have brought into the universe. And we want to make a conscious, deliberate, determined effort to start living life with a sense of urgency and using what we've got. Using ourselves up sharing what we brought into the universe to share because if we don't nobody else will stop wasting valuable time knowing that if we begin to live our lives as if each day were our last our lives will take all take on a whole new meaning it take on a whole new expression valuing each moment that we are blessed with the next thing that begins to nurture that hunger, honor yourself as your word. Don't give your word out lightly. When you throw your word out there and you don't honor it, it makes a statement about you. If you decide to maintain a sense of integrity with yourself, that if I speak it, I'm going to live it. It's who I am. And I'm going to be very cautious in how I give my word to others, and most of all with the commitments that I make to myself.